Coloradans going to be taking advantage of the warm weather headed to the mountains this holiday weekend. CDOT says expect a lot of travelers on westbound I-70 starting today. Now, a year ago today, nearly 30,000 cars passed through the Eisenhower Tunnel, but the major snowfall we've had is going to make for one major issue this Memorial Day. Many mountain passes are not open yet because they are buried in snow. Mountain reporter Matt Croshaw has been keeping track of all this. Matt, Memorial Day openings don't look too favorable for some of these areas. And Dom, you know, there's no snow on the ground really to speak of along the I-70 mountain corridor, although we're starting to see that traffic really pick up here. It's at the higher elevations where those mountain passes are located that it's a completely different story. The snow banks are the size of the heavy equipment brought in to remove them. This is what CDOT is up against on Highway 5, Mount Evans. The view from Copter 4 this morning, it won't be opening this weekend. On Independence Pass between Twin Lakes and Aspen, crews hurled bombs out of helicopters to trigger controlled avalanches. Despite these efforts, CDOT workers tell us that road probably won't be open for at least another week. South of there, Cottonwood Pass between Buena Vista and Gunnison County is now scheduled to open June 22nd, a bit delayed. Trail Ridge Road between Estes Park and Grand Lake in Rocky Mountain National Park is still closed. Guinella Pass, a crowd favorite there between Georgetown and Grant. It is open, so a bit of good news to report. We're live in Summit County, Matt Groschel, covering Colorado First. Thank you, Matt.